Hey, what's up? Phil Ebner here from videoschoolonline.com. I got a great question from a student in my complete After Effects CC course about how to create a side scrolling video like this one. This is from Jay Chu, sorry if I'm pronouncing that right, an artist on YouTube. And they create this awesome sort of side scrolling technique that I really love. So I'm gonna dive into Adobe After Effects and show you how to do this. I actually haven't even practiced this, so I just assume that I know how to do it, but we're gonna go ahead and see. Like everything in After Effects, there's a ton of different ways to do the same kind of technique, and this is just the one that came to my mind first. Okay, so go ahead and open up After Effects, and I'm going to be using some video from a future class that I'm creating right now, the Photography Masterclass 2.0. And all I'm gonna do is create a new composition. 1920 by 1080 is what I'm going to use. Frame rate, 23,976. And we'll just do it for, well, let's set it for 10 seconds for now. And that's good to go. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is create a white background. So first, let me set this to fit up to 100%. So on a Mac, pressing Command Y, that would be Control Y on your PC, you can create a new solid. So I'm going to just set it to white and click OK. And that's going to be a full sort of rectangle that is your background. And I'm just going to lock that in place now. Next, what I'm going to do is start adding my video. So I have some of these videos. I'm just gonna layer them on top of each other. Let's see, whoops, why are we not going? Okay, there we go. Okay, so this video is now a layer in After Effects and we can just play around with the size. You can either just click and drag the corners holding shift to make sure it locks it in the right aspect ratio, or you can bring up your size and position settings by dropping down the layer properties down here with your scale, your position, etc. So what I'm gonna do is just move this around. I'm gonna bring up my quality to full so it looks a little bit better. I think the biggest thing with that video was the timing. And so I'm just gonna, you know, edit these around like so. And then let's add this one. Because the timing you can imagine for a song, it has to be scrolling by at the right time, right? So, and again, you would wanna spend more time making sure the sizing is perfect. You can also do things like cropping them to be squares, or we saw in the video, there's squares, there's rectangles, there's even parts with cutouts. And so the way we could do something like that is, let me just duplicate one of these. I'm gonna put this on top so I know what I'm working with. Put it up here, something like that. Then take my rectangle tool to create a mask around a specific part of it. Okay, and then again, if we want something sort of like this little bit where they have a corner cut out of it, we could take, let's go to this one. Which one is it? Our first one, this one right there. Okay, so that's the middle one, selecting that. We can cut out a little chunk of it. I'm gonna create a mask with my rectangle tool and then go down to my mask properties and actually click invert. So now maybe we put this little guy, this piece of the video right there. And we'd wanna make it smaller, so I'm gonna bring up scale with S on my keyboard. Make it smaller, put it up there. This one would probably be bigger, so we align. So it's a lot of alignment. So anyways, you kind of get the point of how you can line up and create this sort of grid mode. But how do we actually create that side scrolling action? Well, the easiest that I would say is by, well, there's two ways. One would be just adding a new null. So I'm gonna go to, up to layer new null. And then I would attach everything to that null. So selecting all of my video layers, taking my pick whip over here under the parent column and dragging it to null. Or you could use the drop down here to drag it to the null. And then just set a position animation for the null. So if I press P to bring up my position, set up a keyframe right at the beginning, go all the way to the end, drag to the right. And I'm dragging the uh, position over here to the right, like so. Now, if I play this back, I'm gonna turn off all my audio. I'm also gonna turn it down to quarter quality so it might play back a little smoother. 
and it's still going to play a little bit slow, but you can see that it's rendering out and it's playing exactly sort of the style of that music video. Like I said though, the biggest issue is timing, but that's where you got to spend the time to make sure everything lines up. And then say, okay, so say you're like, well, this is great, but how do I add videos to the right of this point? Well, there's a couple things that you can do. You can zoom out, so I'm just pressing, whoops, let's go back to After Effects, pressing Z on my keyboard, the Option key or Alt on a PC, zooming in and out, and then pressing the space bar to move my frame around. So what I could do now is let's just take this video right here, the bottom one, duplicate it, that's Command D, and then move this up to the top right, scale it down or whatever. So these videos aren't the perfect size or framing or whatever, that's what you gotta do. And then you could just keep moving them all the way to the right. So then this one, let's duplicate again, we'll put it up here. This one right here, duplicate, move it over to the right. Of course, that one has the little mask in it, so maybe I'll just delete that mask. And these are all still connected to this null. So let's press U to bring up our keyframes, go to this last one, and when I do that, I can see actually these layers are overlaid, so I'd have to move these over a bit. But now if we change this position of this keyframe to something even further, well now you can start to see, and this will help you to adjust the position when you do that so it actually looks proper. So obviously this video looks crappy compared to that, to that music video, but you can imagine if you had nice shots, if they were timed properly, then you can basically just continue to add videos and continue to kind of add them to the right so that they continue to scroll properly to the left. Of course, this is now a 10 second video. Now actually the timing of this video looks pretty good for 10 seconds, but you can imagine if you had a longer video, then your first keyframe would still be at the beginning, but your last keyframe or your next keyframe would be at the end, which might be 30 seconds or two minutes, or like in the YouTube video, it would have been at like three minutes or something. And so you would really have to play around with the positioning and the speed and how you actually add these videos at specific times. But now you know the basic process or one of the easiest ways to do this. Now there's another way we can do that and that's with a camera layer. So if we go up to layer, new, camera layer, and we also need a null for this as well. So leave the camera settings as is, go up to layer, new, null object right there. Now we parent the camera to the null object. And now similarly, we can just adjust the position of the null and we have to make sure that all of our layers are 3D actually. So now with all of our layers 3D, we can just adjust the position of the null and we don't have to parent the layers to the null object. The camera is parented to the null object, but as you can see, it's basically doing the same thing. So you would just set a keyframe at the beginning for the null object here, then set your last one and put that at the end. And you basically have the exact same sort of composition and animation. And whether you're using the camera option or just the null, my advice is actually to not set keyframes in the beginning. So let me delete both of these keyframes. And what you can do is you can just move the camera around or the null around as much as you need. So continue adding all of your videos from left to right, and then move some more, add more, move some more, add your videos. And then at the very end of your editing, when you have all of your videos laid out, that's when you would set a keyframe for the very beginning and then you would go to the end and then you would scroll to the very end of your video grid. And so that'll be easier than setting the keyframes first. All right, I hope you like that tutorial. If you're interested in taking it to the next level and learning how to use After Effects from scratch, I have a complete After Effects CC course. And the best way to take that is with my unlimited $9 a month membership plan. For just nine bucks a month, you get access to over 60 online courses, including our most popular ones, the Video Production Bootcamp, the Photography Masterclass, Photoshop, Adobe Premiere Pro, WordPress, Lightroom, 
The list goes on and I'll link to that in the description of this video. It's seriously insane how many awesome courses you get for just $9 a month and you can cancel anytime. There's no questions asked. Just let us know when you want to cancel. You can cancel at any time. You're getting over $2,000 worth of courses for just $9 a month. Again, thank you so much for watching this tutorial and as always, have a beautiful day.